Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is the Fortress of Light. Let us come together, people, and establish the fortresses of light in the nation. What is the Fortress of Light? We are the church, and we are supernatural, and we let our light shine in all the nations and on all continents. And Jesus Christ is our fortress and our bulwark. He is the one that we are leaning to because we are the bride of Christ. We have a harvest to bring in. We have to bring a harvest into the barn of the Lord. And so we will establish the fortresses of light where we, where people will see that we stay together with Jesus Christ that, that, and that we walk with him wherever he goes. People will see our light. We will establish these places of light, what we also call the dwelling places of Zion in all the nations. This is a year, 2020, of establishing of the home churches. And you should pray over it and start a home church in your place too, in your house, in your apartment. Gather your friends together. Build a home church in the name of the Lord. Pray. Pray to him as you have never prayed before. Be part of the heavenly kingdom. Stand completely on the heavenly realm and not anymore in the world or in Babylon. Have nothing to do with the world, with your careers, with your riches, with your temptations anymore, but come out of the world and out of the false churches, out of Babylon, out of the church institutions, out of the denominations, out of all this old church stuff that has gone already. It has passed. The church age, as we know, have passed already. Now we are in the sealed tribulation and we need to establish a church that can stand during persecution because the world will be given shortly within the next three to three and a half years over to the Antichrist. Now it's the time to start. Now it's the time to come forth and now it's the time to overcome the world. As the first seal says, a white rider will overcome the world. Many people say this is the Antichrist. That's completely wrong. Or maybe 50-50, let's put it this way. Because there's always a good side and a bad side. And the Lord has shown me that he will bring forth twins. One for a dark side and one for a good side. So let us stay on his good side and let us establish home churches wherever we can. Let us stand for the heavenly kingdom and let us tell the people, repent, repent, because the kingdom is now at hand. Come forth in the way as John the Baptist has done it. Let us be a voice crying in the wilderness. Let us be the fortresses of light for our Lord, the powerhouses in all the nations. Let us be the places where the people will be drawn to and where the people will be sent to by the Lord so that they can receive the information about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ about his death and especially about his resurrection and the new body and the new level. I have made a video about it. Please watch it, the new level. It is time for us to, to come forth and to stand strong for the heavenly realm, for the Lord, for our Abba Father, Jehovah Jireh, God Almighty, the only living God. Let us show the people through example what a true Christian is, not the bickering one. Not the one sitting in the institutional church, but the one who is active in the home churches, who is going out into the neighborhood, lift up the nameless, the faceless and the needy, goes for the widows, the orphans, to help, to gather the people, the low people together, to go into the byways and in the low streets and to collect the people and bring them into the fold of the Lord. Because Jesus has said, the last will be the first, and the poor will inherit the kingdom. Now it's the time to step forward. Now it's the time to show your light so greatly. Let us build the fortresses of light in the nations.
If you have any question how to do that, please send me an email to triplegrace55 at gmail.com and I will give you an instruction step by step how to do it and how to let your light shine for all to see. The time is here. Persecution will come very shortly. Now we have to build places that can be protected by the Lord. He cannot protect you if you are standing in the world. Because if you are standing with one leg in the world, you are subject to the Antichrist and his mark. You have to come out of the world and out of Babylon and stand completely in the Lord and walk that narrow and righteous path towards his holy mountain in the great exodus. What we preach and teach you over 10 years now, it's time. This is the time now to step forward. This is the time to build the fortresses of light. Always remember, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is our fortress and he is our bulwark and he is our protection. And only through him you will come to the Father. This is the truth. And we, as the Rosarians in Triple Grace and as a follower of the path, and as the people who are the daily sacrificers, we are, we are the one who knows that we can only come to the Father through Jesus Christ. And we are the ones who walk in spirit and truth. We are not going there to discuss or bigger with other people about Bible verses. Our work is a different work. Our work is a heavenly work. And our work is to win souls and to gather the people together in love, unity and support. So now, join me in this year 2020 and build your home churches. Let me know where you have built a home church so that we can put a great network together. On our website, every home church will be named and a contact will be placed so that everybody can contact the home churches that are already established, can listen to their examples, can get feedback, can see how they have done it and how, it's, how mistakes can be avoided. Let us come together in a great network, in a commonwealth of God, with all the home churches, with all the dwelling places of Zion. And let us be the light in the darkness. Let us be the standard and the banner that Jesus Christ is raising against the incoming flood right now. You are called forth to be the fortresses of light. Start right now. Thank you that you have listened to this great Exodus series video and about the fortresses of light. Always rely on the Lord. If you have any question, take it to him or send me an email. But first pray over it. Let the Holy Spirit come to tell you what to do and where to do it. Join our network. Become part as, your, as a home church in our network in the Commonwealth of God. Let us come together <clears throat> to build millions of fortresses of light in the nations so that we can stand strong against the incoming Pharaoh, against the incoming Antichrist. That we will be the powerful force against the dark flood that is coming. Thank you that you listened to this topic and I hope you had a great start in the year 2020. Please one thing more. Begin that year, 2020, with, the, with a good deed and support the needy, the nameless and faceless. Use a little bit of your funds that you have in this year and make a donation. If it's either to us, and you can use the, the links in the first pinned comment or to any other place. But make your first thing a dedication to your work that you will do. Lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless, either to us with a donation to Triple Grace or to any other place. But commit yourself right away to the heavenly kingdom and to sharing of resources and to supporting one another. This is the right beginning. Pray over it and make a donation. Thank you so much for all your help, your assistance and your support. This will be our year, a supernatural year, a year of supernatural encounters with our God, with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranat.